I'll be home soon, dear. Get it? That's pretty cool though, right? I can dig it. What's up, everyone? I'm back again. Yes, the Peterbilt is still alive because it did break down again when I got home. Power steering pump went out. Set up my appointment at Rush Truck Centers to bring it in for that. Started it up the morning, two days later. Low on coolant, coolant leak. So I was like, okay, brought it in. Took them three weeks to fix my truck, but the warranty cover, comp, the warranty company covered everything. All I had to pay was my deductible of $150. So thank heavens, because it was like four and a half grand or something, something like that for power steering pump and a new surge tank and the work and the labor and the parts. It was like four grand and something. And all I paid was 150 bucks. So all right, that works out nicely. Unfortunately, being down as long as I've been again hurts. So yeah, that's that. There's the truck looking pretty good yeah remember when i fell out of the truck last time my wrist is still jacked and that was like five weeks ago so got myself some a little wrist wrap because we are at a pickup here in pooler georgia uh, i'm picking up three tractors total weight of twenty-eight thousand pounds three tractors going to three separate tractor dealers right in virginia um uh and the reason I'm taking this load is because I've been telling everyone that I want to move. Cross your fingers because it looks like it's happening. Uh, after I drop these tractors off, I'm going to look at a house that I have an offer on. So come with me. Check it out. Check it out. It's a start over rebuild house, right? Because, you know, the last three years have been pretty difficult, even though the dementia patient the resident in the white house tells me it's the best economy i've ever i've ever seen but mm, uh, i can't afford my house that i've owned for 14 years now what do you know oh this guy's not happy he's trying to pull out of here and that dude's oh look at that and he can't get out oh gonna have to ride a curb I guess ah the other truck moved for him all right, right on. so yeah so that's the deal man um, hopefully this goes through and we have a pretty smooth successful trip uh, don't know where I'm gonna go next I was just talking to Frank you guys know Frank um, yeah so he's got some contacts up in Tennessee because that's where he lives so um, I might be doing a load with for one of his guys and um, and then get back to his house because Frank's got all the tools we're gonna try to fix that uh, AC unit back there we'll see if all this works out I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do so anyhow let's get trucking oh and they're calling me right now let's, let's see what's going on here Hello, this is Ken. Yes, sir. Okay, door 41. All right, on my way. All right, so. Like I said, this, this place is, look at, there's tractors and stuff everywhere. Look at all these, uh, what are the backhoes? Mini X, mini excavators. It's just this stuff everywhere. Look at, when I say everywhere, I'm talking everywhere. So I'm going here. Backup. I wonder if 
if there's somewhere to turn around first. They're calling me right now again. Yeah, hello? Gotcha, because I was looking at this thing going, dude, that's going to be a tough fucking backup. Got you. Thanks so much for calling, man. I appreciate it. steers so oh I just about cracked that pull wheel <laughs> too many things going on at once here best to film y'all but as you can see I'm kind of in a predicament. I swear it was one take. Told you there's stuff. Ah oh. Not bad for a guy who only drives a truck once a month, huh? Because he's in the shop the whole time. Yeah, massive place. All right, I'm gonna move up. Just, you know what? It's a freaking tractor. It can drive over that. It's got big old tires. It's pretty sunny out, so this might die uh, from the heat. But I gotta move my dunnage because they have to pop them in four wheel drive and get the front tires up on here because we got about 47 feet is what, 45, something like that. So let's move some dunnage. Is there, is there a chain rails for these things or what do they usually do? Uh, there are no chain down spots. Okay. Uh, if you want to do it, it's up to you. We don't have rules about it. But I usually see Jarvis Rubens who take the chains around the axle. And then in the back, they usually hitch them out. Okay. But however way you can make sure this thing is small. <laughs> I'll try to make sure it doesn't fall off. Yeah, I know. What is chain up area? Anywhere along that street. Anywhere you can find her. Hear that? Get the last one. I think I'm going to run it right here with a couple of edge protectors. Boom, boom. And then the hitch in the rear. Let's do it.
right guys well i got five more to do like that so let's set you down in the shade and get her done drop number one um on my apping dawn ton dawn virginia right on the other side of that little truck right there there's like bricks so i have to back up to that as you can see <laughs> so i think i'm going to try to loop go straight up that hill and then back the trailer and back here turn around and go up that way and then back up to the rocks so yeah i just told the guy to do a three point turn at a 200 foot radius so so we got this yeah one two three and then things get really exciting so uh yeah might want to stay tuned for tomorrow Cross your fingers for me. All right, let's get this thing unloaded. I wish you could see that. It's a little rock pile. These guys just gotta get moved. That was fun. <laughs> Made it happen. All right, check your number. Oh no, going bye bye. What do we need? We need some keys. See? Get all flustered when I gotta unload. So much to do. Got my notebook ready to go. Get my boxes from my chains. Seems a lot of space under there, right? <laughs> There we go. Hell, he just walked that away. Oh, there he is. How many am I getting? Huh? How many? Just one. Here we go. Let's get this thing unloaded. Just about got her unchained. Gentleman's already in it, ready to get going. So much easier with the chain boxes. I don't know where that cutter pin came from. You good? Me tracked it. We're in uh, Virginia, like I said. All three of them are. God. All three of them are pretty close. Let's go over here now. Put the chain binders away. <laughs> Not much suspension on a tractor, I guess. Guys bouncing around like crazy. Alright, I'm loading up the chain binders. We're off to the next one after I get some signatures. My brother right there just hit me up with a mean tractor uh, hat and he's gonna follow the channel. Cool dude, I guess his, uh, parent, his dad owns a trucking company also. We're talking about all the fun of being a trucker. All right, let's see if we can't get out of here. Yo! Man, I love it up here. All right, see stuff like that? I'll take out my tire. Look at that post. Hello. Cut this as wide as we possibly can. Look at that shit. Two miles away. Great. There's a traffic jam. Boom. 
drop uno moon. I can't speak Spanish. <laughs> Hence why I'm leaving Florida. <laughs> All right, see you drop two. I don't know where to go. Told me two gates, loading dock. Is that it right there? So, hmm. That's not going to work. Ah, uh, there it is right there. So I got to pull up there and then back up to it right there. Got it. I think I'm right on it, but let's have a look. John Deere's everywhere. No, we're going to have to come back. Benefits. Tractor number two in Virginia coming off and we didn't hit that dock. Pretty impressive. So I talked to the guys at the last place. Them suckers are over a hundred grand each. So I think this, no, I actually know my most expensive load ever um and they didn't ask for more insurance just my whatever it is i think it's a quarter million i think i have i'm not sure covered it all right get some paperwork signed then number three trying to get something picked up today because again tomorrow big things happening i think it's an f22 up there Military base around here? That sounds like it looked like an F-22. It is. It is. Like one out of somewhere in the Carolinas, there's a base, and they travel through here on small. Dang! Y'all hear how loud that was compared to a commercial jet? Whew! Tractor drop number three. This kid is backing me up back there. He's like, "Come on, come on," and I'm like. And he's like, and he's like, and I back up a little bit more and I run into it. I'm like, thanks. You're good to go, friend. You know what? I forgot my keys. Yeah, there's the door panel after my really rough day. sign still on so I'll tell you what driving this truck now that it has a functioning power steering pump it's a heck of a lot easier parking it who would have imagined oh let me move my chair yeah heck of a lot easier So, as promised guys, it is now Friday morning. And like I said, you wanna see my new house? I'm not kidding. There's the truck. There's my real estate agent. That's Dana, y'all. What do you think? Here is my new house. Oh boy. She's a rough one. But, look at all this space. What do y'all think will go right here? that so yeah it's an old old house i'm in east tennessee it's somewhere i'm not going to tell everyone exactly where i am it needs a complete renovation 
and I'll show you the biggest problem, but I do have a professional looking at it as we speak. So yeah, nice big yard. And we've got this old garage back here, which is in really good shape. Concrete floor, it's got electrical. It's even got 240 uh, for a washer dryer or a welder. <coughs> Little patio right there that'll probably get torn off. Um, it was built in 1945 and the inside is basically everything from 1945. So the biggest concern that I have, like I said, I have a professional. There used to be windows down here, right? I thought it was just a crawl space. But, so it's got natural gas. There's an the air handler right here, guys. Look at this. Boom, that entire wall collapsed. So, I have a foundation expert down here right now measuring everything and figuring out what it's gonna take and if it's salvageable because if the house needs to be torn down, I don't wanna buy it. But if it's fixable, it's gonna take a lot of time. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Getting out of Orlando, Florida forever. You guys wanna see inside? So yeah, here's the, like I said, kaboom. So right here, I guess there's water intrusion or something. That wall just collapsed right there. But there it is. She's a beaut, ain't she? Oh yeah. Obviously I won't be living in here right away. That goes down to the basement. So like I said, everything, look at the windows everything look at that so that slider used to go down below so yeah there's a lot of wood rot and a lot to get fixed this is what i was saying could probably be torn off and then just a, a nice patio out here right instead of that little dinky room is what he's supposed to do in there um so and then here would be a bedroom So there's the street, secondary lot, little closet, it's a wood paneling, bathroom, beautiful, right? Woohoo! Here we go, another bedroom slash office and another bedroom. Weird floor plan because you have to walk through this room to get out there, so I guess in theory this would be the master and then office, I don't know. Everything will get changed around over time, but uh, yeah, that's it. So I had to take those tractors up here just so I could get close to here for this inspection today. So we'll see you on the next one. I'm heading to North Carolina, um, pick up, and then we're heading up to Minnesota. So that's it. Go ahead and subscribe so you can see. Now we're turning into trucking and real estate stuff. So say bye, Dana. All right, y'all. See you on the next one.